I'm Max Weiss, and I am here at the Baltimore Museum of Industry to discuss Baltimore Magazine's February issue, City of Immigrants. Obviously, the story could not be more timely. What we do is we look at Baltimore's current Hispanic population and their fear of being deported, and we compare that to our very rich history of immigration, and we see that there are a lot more similarities than you might think. Another really amazing part of the City of Immigrants story is this piece called Point of Entry with photos by Sean Scheidt and words by Ashley Minner. And it's a photo essay of current immigrants in Baltimore and they tell their stories and you look at their faces and it's pretty profound. One cool thing we're here in this garment room is that the unionization of the garment industry, which had notorious sweatshops, was led by a Jewish immigrant named Jacob Edelman, came from Russia, and you can read his story in City of Immigrants. Another awesome story is 30 Baltimore visionaries. And what we're doing here is we're looking at the people whose big ideas are moving the city forward. And they're in all walks of life. They're in development, they're in the arts, they're in restaurants, they're in politics, the environment. The ages range from 16 to 66 because anybody can have a big idea that can move Baltimore City forward. Once you've read the visionary story, you're gonna definitely wanna check out an event that we have in conjunction with it. We're gonna have some of the visionaries on stage talking about their ideas. It's February 8th, 5.30 at the Parkway Theater, and it's gonna be hosted by our very own Jess Mayhew, and uh, there's gonna be some special guests and surprises. We have a profile of the amazing, vibrant artist, Joyce Scott, who is 69 years old and continues to reinvent herself. She is so cool. And we have a review of a new Pikesville restaurant called The Essen Room. If this doesn't make your mouth water, we cannot be friends.